Sludge. No mesh or betrayal, huh? That one's kind of close. I think my respect for Nomish went up after seeing, like, all the patron warriors run Nomish Inventor. And this humble little gal, she gets things done. Uh, we got no... Mecharoos, Dark Scale Healer, or Frost Wolf Warlord. I think this one's actually kind of close. I'm gonna go with, uh, Warlord. Oh man, another close choice. We've got... Defias, and we've got Shieldmaster. This is our town scrub. So close, all of these. Oil. Oh, this is a tough choice too. Oh my gosh, when did Arena get so hard? It's the Crusher. It's a reasonably good big card. The Raider, it's better in Rogue. The Assassin's Blade, pretty sweet, especially with oil. I think I go uh, crushing people. Eh, no, I should go with Blade since I have an oil. Oh my gosh, you could justify all three. I'm gonna pick all three. But I'm gonna pick the Blade, because I have an oil. I kind of want to not pick the Blade, because I won't pick the second Blade. And then I'll have missed out on a 6-6. Hafu is shouting Blood Sail. She makes the argument, <clears throat> Your hand is so clunky, which means deck. You're gonna die before you get to put Blade on Tinker Oil. Well, okay. 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 Who's tank? Nice to get the uh, three drop. Kind of close too. Aha! Scarlet. Sunwalker. Sprint or dragon? Eh, hungry dragon is actually really good in rogue. Nom nom nom. This. Yeti yeti. Morgan, Amani, The Brew, The Stab, Tankaroo, Yeti 2, and they have two mechs, three mechs, but that's still ridiculous. This one's the uh, rogue's best friend, kind of. Oh, my Assassin's Blade came back! Woo! I wonder if Hafu would possibly consider a piece of sergeant there. That would seem ridiculous to me. One, two, three, four, five. Bomber, bomber. Yeah, bomber, bomber. Infiltrator or bouncy bounce. Infiltrator. Well, that sprint came around. Looks like my late game isn't a lot, so. I kind of want to pick it up. Stormwind Champion is, of course, also really good. That's a tough question. Finish the game with Stormwind Champion, or draw into more solutions with Sprint in the late game? Both uh, cards are really good here. Afu, oh, that's your cue. I'm curious as to know what she would have picked here. I think I'm rather neutral on the two. Like, there are only uh, four cards that are five plus, so getting the sprint to keep going is good, but the champion is good because I probably want to try to finish the game rather early. Mm, Hafu leans towards Stormwind, but didn't seem like a very close call. I mean, seemed really close. Alright, well, uh, yeah, I was leaning towards Stormwind champion also. A very small amount. Like, I would have just gone with the tiebreaker here. Dwarf. Avis. Why is Gang Up a common? <laughs> oh, yeah. Rocketeer. Bring out the tank. And. Oh, Sunfear Protector and Molten Giant combo. Unless I think I can combo the Nerbian Egg in some way. No. Okay. We've got a pretty reasonably good deck here, I think. Strong mana, two drops. Sunfury, Mana Wraith, Mad Bomber, Defy String Leader. Which is sometimes a two drop, Blood Cell Raider, which is sometimes a two drop, but not really. Money Berserker. You got the Infiltrator early, Backstab to Eviscerate. Card quality is pretty high on the three spot with Crusader 2 tank. Uh, four spot has a lot of good cards Double Yeti, Dwarf, Hunger Dragon. Um, got a Blade, a Sludge, a Sunwalker Champion, Tank, Giant. Yeah, it's a good deck. 
Okay, I think this deck is above average. And, you know, it's just actually really good. I'm actually tempted to guess 12, but I will temper my guess and guess 10. Afu guessed a 9. Says that uh, the weakness of this deck is lack of AoE. It's okay. Rogue's just single targeted down you. I will fight with honor. What? Oh man. That's a start. Oh man, that's a start. Oh boy. I was going to coin out Defias, but now it's looking like I can just go Infiltrator and a backstab Defias. I think there are two reasonable ways to start. Uh, coin Defias or Infiltrator into backstab Defias. And then like sometimes use the dagger. Reporting for duty. I should have considered keeping this guy hidden because of muster. Eh, it's playing around a rare. Never mind. I'll attack. And there's some additional benefits to keeping it hidden. Lets me plan out things better. But this is okay. Do I want backstab defias or crusader? Crusader. And then do I want to throw the backstab? Yeah, I'd rather save the 2 1. This is kind of an interesting opening since there are so many different ways this could have gone. Looks like I'm going to be doing a 4 or 2. 4 plus 2 on 5 mana, and then play a 4 on 4 mana. Or maybe Defias Ringleader just never gets played somehow, even though I kept in my opening hand with the coin. Which is bizarre. I think I try to do the damage to the Berserker through weapon plus. Oh man. Okay, that's a problem. Pretty good turn by him there. I guess one benefit I have is I have the ooze to block this. Or of a taunt with divine shield against one big guy. Master plus Defias, Ringleader of Value. Eh, probably more likely I hit the Sunwalker, given how little late game I have left. Silly mana race. You looking at me? <laughs> ah, okay. Buff the Yeti and buff the uh, two one here. Shields up. <laughs> that should be most annoying. Mana race. Forced to take out a 2-1. That's sadness for him. You're looking at me. 
I got it. I'll put it on your tail. Defy's ringleader even got some extra value by uh, getting that one damage soak. Probably an argument to be made on uh, bouncing Yeti to heal it. This play is weaker than Consecration, but I'm a sucker for value plays. The victory is. I think I will actually coin dagger. Dagger's that good. I'm gonna play a top deck ringleader though. I kinda like the coin dagger and the blood seal rider play. Kinda. Literally the only class all hero of power with the coin. I sure likes passing. Tandingo, yes. hmm. Okay. This uh reckless rocketeer might actually accomplish something with her life in this game. By which I mean she might actually be able to attack twice. And not just die to some random jump. The question is, how much do I want to overcommit against Holy Nova? Eh, if it's Holy Nova, this gets enraged. Let's go all the way. The Good night. And if it's the Holy Nova, the Reckless Rocketeer doesn't get Holy Nova'd. And I fortunately have the Scarlet Crusader to still also survive. I would have, um, 11 power worth of stuff. It's kind of annoying for him. I have to imagine. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Smite? Oh. Is that one? Yeah. Okay. Join or die. <laughs> Just uh, thought about for a moment whether or not I would play the blade, so whether or not I should attack for one. And I think most of the time I play Yeti. Although in this case, I'm actually going to play Blade. Oh man, am I going to get the fabled triple attack with the Rocketeer? So much for his light well inner fire combo. Are you ready for this? Could he not have done that on turn three? Like it looked like both cards came from the left side of his hand. Or maybe he didn't want to, for some reason or another. I don't know why. Anyways. Who you want me kill? Here we go. Ah. <laughs> If I were to face a coin through two, I guess I would play the Eviscerate. I can fix yeah, this one doesn't matter enough. Here we go. The Rogue Hero Power, I do like it a lot. It's like the Hero Power which can deal two damage. 
That's kind of insane. Targeted two damage to minions. It's not like health ever matters. It rarely matters. Only a little bit. That's only a little sarcastic. As always, one of the, uh... Biggest mistakes that players make is overvaluing health. Too bad I don't have a dagger out. Looks like I'm going to have to overkill this thing. Unless I leave it for a turn. In which case the play would be Worgen Infiltrator Weapon. And then the next turn would be Sludge Belcher. Yeah, I don't really care too much about the 1 1 Violet Apprentices, I guess, if I have the stuff out. If I have the weapon out. I'll save the Eviscerate. Since right now it's overkilling by 2. And it's not really efficient. Could consider poking this once. Yeah, I'll do that. Because uh, setting it down to 3 health with another attack will work. Taking a lot of damage, self-inflicted with the dagger, but that's how Valera rolls in Arena, I think. I'm ready to oh, yes. There's some value with the uh, dagger here. Got in four damage for four mana, and basically gave me plus two cards. Dagger Valley. Yeah, probably send out Happy Miss Goblins next turn. Try to keep this at five out of Flame Strike range. Apparently that won't be possible. Uh, it will be possible. Just means no happy goblin this turn. Trying to dodge flame strike. Hmm. Here we go. My dagger has really taken out a lot of minions this game. Alright. The flame strike. I mean, that's really good against flame strike. Yeah, it's just a really good card. To play on 8. When you're not about to die. Taunt is cheat. Be a lot of damage next turn. Here we go. Truth is my shield. I guess I'm a big cheater, if Tantas cheat. I don't uh, need to overextend with the Berserker. 
Wah wah, I'm a mage. My flame strike only deals four damage. Wah wah. What to do? Okay, that's five, nine, ten. And if this gets that, then I don't have lethal. And that would be kind of sad. I have the 13 guaranteed, 6, 10, 11. Oh, wait, that's lethal, anyways. Five, nine. No, never mind. Nope. Oops. Mistake. Oh, well. Awkward. That's yeah, super awkward. It's alright. Sorry, Reckless Rocketeer. I was going to put some oil into your uh, flying machine there, but looks like the tank wanted it more. that four drop. If I have a strong base, which this looks to be a reasonably good base. <laughs> that might have been interesting. Go Mana Wraith instead, and then turn two Dagger, turn three Amani. Uh, but I can just backstab Wraith. That would have been an interesting line though. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Yeah, that's not ideal. But you do what you gotta do. Ugh, I don't want to just get my mana ray eaten. Here we go. My precious mana ray. I guess I'll check for uh, get down. It's usually not going to be get down. But sometimes it will be, and then that'll be big. Or the try. Actually, I don't really have to attack here, do I? I uh, hadn't thought about it, but I don't really have to attack. It actually just deals me more damage if I attack right now. Alright. Probably avenge. This is a tough board to deal with. Sunwalker theoretically deals with all three of these, but life is rarely that good. Sunwalker would be a boss though, if it did deal with all three. He just needs a buff for some kind of damage. We must cleanse the sunwell. It's a buff, but that was two guys. Looks like I'm gonna fall too far behind here. Oh, your sludginess, though. Yeah, 
Oh dear. It's a good hand. Bomber and infiltrator. There's no love there, but it'll hopefully work out. Hello. The light protects me. Oh. Uh, let's do this instead. Oh. Yeah, I'll do the straightforward play. This is not a terrible curve to follow. I've played so many cards, and the mage hasn't done, like, that many things, but I guess, yeah, it's a little bit shocking. I'm the one who went second and I ran out of cards a lot earlier. A little bit of a surprise. The mage's cards were so beefy. Yeah, yeah, yes. That's a big deal. Here we go. It's a lot of uh, Scarlet Teacher value, though. That's twice I've gotten Sea Giant as a game now. Oof. That's so many big cards. Hmm, that's a problem. I got this. Here we go. Join or die. Hello. Oh, oh wow. Now that I actually taunted something, I hope I didn't forget to taunt the Violet Teacher at a key time. It wasn't going through my head. It's a possible play. 
Well, womp a womp, by the way. Playing a one health minion against Rogue sure feels bad. Though he did deny me from playing my two drops. But this uh, weapon is left around for a future benefit. Pretty nice. No, I was gonna play Scarlet, but no, the tank actually is better because that thing has low attack value. The tank will survive. Let the pain speak to me. Killing this while I have the resources to do so. This probably gets um two draws, but that's fine. If I play this while well, that's up, he just gets a free kill. Okay, I should uh, play all of these out right before Flame Strike. Probably. I think I'll uh, throw in a backstab too, but we'll find out after this. I could just toss the Divine Shield in, but this is a good protection against Flame Strike. Yikes. Hanging in there. Doesn't look like the mage had flame strike. Very close. I think I'm so close. I go face here. No, I should probably kill the two two. Hmm. I should probably kill this. No, but that might delay my. This is where a simulation is important. First of all, I need to decide whether or not he has flame strike. It would have been pretty tempting to flame strike that board, especially with Cobalt Geomancer. Oh no, he couldn't have done that. This represents nine damage. I'm gonna play it super safe. I'll play this. That's not enough of a board. Are you ready for this?
Yeah, because the three damage I do there, it just gets delayed, I guess, since this is three now. Unless there was Flame Strike. Doesn't appear to be Flame. Oh, is this lethal? Oh, it's one off. That's pretty cool. So Could have done Eviscerate for plus four damage. Which is actually not anything. Anyways. Uh, excuse me. Hey, give me a oh no, it would actually be a vis rate for 5 damage, which is cute. <laughs> There's like this wild shout to eviscerate the worgen. So I could damage my worgen down by 2 health. Uh, to add one damage to him. Like, you know, that that's a play, but it's not worth. And... Cool. Let's just chuck this out of his face. Okay, that's fine. So it looks like it's going to be Coin Ringleader into Protector into uh, Weapon Deckhand. Hmm. hmm. Stupid Chow. Chow too strong. Nerf Chow. The light protects me. Oh, this allows me to do a very optimistic play. No, I'll do the same play here, because I can always bomb her next turn. One's interesting. No, it's mainly terrible for me. Eh, it's not bad. It's about average of what I would have to face. It just prevented it presented some interesting options, so yeah. Hmm. That five five against this four five is really annoying. Because he's a priest. would have been more scared with heal. Well, no, that was a pretty good play. Oh, maybe I should be killing the Gurubashi here. Hmm, that thing is really scary, but this thing is pretty scary too. Bashi Berserker. Gonna get out of control. Eh, this will only be one charge, but that's fine. Got him. I got this. Here we go. Okay. Oh no, a war golem. We'll face War Golem Plus. Wow, hard counter to the War Golem. Hopefully, he doesn't have a hard counter to my hard counter. Oh. 
Darn. <sighs> Battle detected. We got a problem here. Eh. The problem mostly is uh, losing. Losing is a problem. They don't have any hard removal in this deck. So there's no way I can ever kill that Wargolin. Unless I send the 3-1 at it. Yeah, it's, it's losing either one pretty much. I got crushed in three games. Those three decks were all pretty good. We're all very good. Not to say this deck is bad, it's just sometimes you run into good decks and good opponents. Well, oh, pretty good pack. Pretty good.